Hi, FIR filter design making use of a window technique. Uh, straight away numerical designing a high pass filter high pass filter making use of uh, the problem a repeated problem hamming window hamming window with a cutoff frequency omega c being uh, uh, 2 radians per second and number of samples let that be n equal to 7 not letting it be it is we have a numerical repeated numerical all right so what to be remembered so guys um, straight away it's not designing a fire filter isn't it we need to have a, a little bit information prior information for filter design like a linear phase structure etc so as soon as n we have we can compute alpha alpha which is equal to n minus 1 upon 2 which is equal to alpha is 3 this to be remembered all right and regarding if high pass filter the desired frequency response to be remembered by student here a high pass filter like this the character the de desired frequency response is like this all right so what do we have over the side it's a omega various values of omega and the desired frequency response h d of omega over this side all right and what about these it's a omega c 2 pi and uh, minus pi to minus omega c all right so magnitude is c which is equal to unity we always design for a unity uh, magnitude filters and guys how uh, so how to write down this one hd of omega the mathematical representation hd of omega h d of omega is equal to magnitude is one with the phase angle e rise to minus j alpha omega that value of alpha to be plugged in over here all right uh, from the frequency response analysis etc you need to have this one you need to have an idea on this one if where did we get this one so here between what values of omega between omega uh, between uh, minus pi to omega negative omega c and omega between omega c and pi okay so these are the uh, this one you have to remember this this and uh, if you have n you need to know how to evaluate alpha and also hamming if i say like uh, if the, like depending upon the window technique given asked for the exam point of view you have to remember the sequence also all right so hamming window what is the sequence hamming window of n is equal to 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1 so what about this n this n will be n will be running from n will be equal to 0 to n minus 1 n is 7 so for we have to wh of 0 wh of 1 wh of 2 plugging in n equal to 0 1 2 3 etc up to 0 to 6 all right this is the basic information you'll have to uh, wish to try to evaluate how the computation is going on i have seen like in my classes i have seen uh, students getting trouble with the computation in between some mathematical calculation all right so this is the picture the desired high frequency response the sequence hamming window sequence is this one and uh, the mathematical representation of the filter desired filter and n will be specified omega c will be specified and from which we will have to evaluate alpha value all right so uh, we have this one making use of the inverse Fourier transform another point is to be remembered h d of n is the inverse Fourier transform of h d of omega omega in frequency domain n in discrete time uh, the formula 1 upon 2 pi integral h d of omega uh, e rise to j omega n d omega is the formula to evaluate like whatever hd of n we have that is plugged in over here and integration will give us hd of n why hd of n why because h of n h of n in this design making use of window techniques it's h d of n into the window function h n of n all right so why h of n we need to evaluate h of z making use of uh, summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 h of n z raised to minus n so that we can like finally we have to reach over here 
so that's the procedure to evaluate uh, compute the design uh, fir filters all right so we need to evaluate h of n and for that we need to evaluate this one right guys so how to write down this one for this especially this one uh, let's do it this is the point where i wanted to help you h d of n will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi the small simplification over here okay so writing the integration for this one it's a negative pi to negative omega c all right and hd of omega what's that hd of omega hd of omega is this one magnitude is one or we always design for a one okay it's a digital filter either one or zero that's it and what is that hd of omega e rise to minus j alpha omega e rise to j omega n d omega negative pi to negative omega c this is for this one plus for this one how to write down that one it's a once again 1 upon 2 pi integral uh, omega c to pi all right and once again hd of omega it's a e rise to minus j o alpha omega e rise to j omega n d omega all right so evaluating simplifying this one and some transformation will help us to evaluate hd of n all right so guys something can be taken out as common from here see e rise to j omega from here e rise to j omega n from here also all right once again e rise to j omega from here e rise to j omega n from here taken out as common so what will be the transformation it will be 1 upon 2 pi integral negative pi to negative omega c the cutoff frequency e rise to j omega so n minus alpha is left over n minus alpha d omega with respect to omega isn't it so plus 1 by 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi integral omega c 2 pi e rise to j omega is taken out as common so what is left over it's a omega has come out it's a n minus alpha d omega all right are we clear of course and uh, yeah guys i need this one so simplifying this one and we need to reduce it to a standard form will give us will help us to evaluate the values of different values of hd of uh, n up to what value of n up to h hd of 0 hd of 1 hd of 2 etc etc up to hd of 6 has to be evaluated all right so simplifying even this one and guys straight away the integration of this one okay uh, it's a integration it's very much similar to e power a a x d x e power a x d x integral e power a x d x will be equal to e power a x by a all right so making use of that property that simple uh, mathematical simplification over here uh, h d of uh, n will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral y integral we we are doing the integral reducing the integral isn't it so e rise to j omega n minus alpha by uh, omega is treated as the variable over here so what comes down j n minus alpha comes down n minus alpha all right so the limits what are the limits it's the confusing it's the confusing point over here minus pi to minus omega c all right and what about the second one plus the same thing uh, e rise to 1 upon 2 pi we have that one 1 upon 2 pi okay so j omega n minus alpha uh, j n minus alpha comes down so what are the limits upper limit and lower limit it's omega c to pi all right so simplifying that one will give us further it will give us so guys uh, uh, plugging in the upper and lower limit hd of n hd of n will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi yeah it's a j n minus alpha all right j n minus alpha and uh, plugging in the upper limit what do we have e rise to j in the place of omega minus omega c into n minus alpha minus e rise to j in the place of omega it's a minus pi into n minus alpha all right so plus 
1 upon 2 pi it's as it is all right so j into n minus alpha also comes down as it is no change in that one e rise to j upper limit pi pi n minus alpha lower limit minus e rise to j omega c in the place of omega omega c into n minus alpha all right so this is the simplification guys now there is a hidden sine theta over here there is a hidden sine function over here what is the sine function according to euler's identity sine function according to euler's identity it's a sine theta can be e rise to j theta minus e rise to minus j theta by 2j okay so we need to have the same thing over here j uh, j same thing over here so uh, so 1 upon 2 pi has come in from uh, okay uh, 1 upon 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi over here uh, and remember this j into n minus alpha is applicable for this for this for this and for that also so taking out something as common okay so guys can you see this one uh, take out this one take out let's take out let's pick this one first let's pick this one what is that e rise to j pi n minus alpha and uh, see what about this one what about this one this one take picking out this also minus e rise to minus j pi into n minus alpha by j n minus alpha all right so can you see this e rise to j theta same thing minus e rise to minus j theta so we have by 2j it's a sine theta all right so if that is the case plus 1 upon 2 pi for the next one uh, we have the positive over here first we need to have the positive but the negative so taking out the negative was common from there so we'll be left with positive and this one j n minus alpha as it is so negative has come out so we'll have positive e rise to j omega c into n minus alpha n minus alpha from yeah we are done with this one also done we are done with this one so come over here uh, negative has taken negative has come out so what do we have we have a negative negative e rise to j omega c into n minus alpha is that negative e rise to minus j yeah once again this is e rise to j theta uh, we have this negative i forgot to write that negative over here all right we have this negative negative has come out from here so negative this multiplying this again will give back to that one so j theta all right so e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta by 2j by 2j right e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta by 2j here that whatever rounded in red like this one this entire uh, from the numerator and denominator entire this one exponential by that denominator uh, that can be written in form of sine function h d of n will be equal to h d of n will be equal to 1 upon pi as common from this and this also right this one and this entire thing uh, uh, how, how to write down the sign sine what is theta in this case it's a pi into n minus alpha pi into n minus alpha by n minus alpha from here all right in the same way it's a negative negative and this entire thing sine what's theta over here omega c into n minus alpha is the theta all right by j is rounded for sine and we have n minus alpha so this is entirely for hd of n all right hd of n and uh, while plugging in various values of n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 etc all right while plugging in the values for uh, different values of n n equal to 0 we need to plug in isn't it we need to plug in n equal to 0 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 etc etc we will come across a problem when n equal to 3 yeah while computing hd of n will will have a problem when we execute n equal to we try to execute when plugging in n equal to 3 why because at any what is the alpha value n is 7 isn't it uh, order is 7 and uh, alpha will be n minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 3 so n equal to 3 small n equal to plugging in 0 1 2 3 etc etc up to 6 isn't it so when n equal to 3 
when we have to plug in n equal to 3 this will be c uh, hd of 3 will be this is okay but sine 3 minus 3 sine 0 0 by 3 minus 3 0 0 by 0 uh, but n equal to 0 hd of n hd of n will be equal to 0 by 0 which is a indeterminate state right so we'll have to make use of uh, l hospital rule especially when n is equal to 3 and what does that as far as this problem is concerned okay i cannot explain in detail about l hospital rule but as far as this problem is concerned what l hospital rule says is limit theta tends to 0 sin a theta by theta will be equal to a l hospitals rule. remember this one i cannot give much information because i focus on the design of uh, filter right not that one so in the same way guys here take out this one take out this one it's like a limit n minus alpha tends to 0 sin what is that pi n minus alpha by n minus alpha right so what what will be left to when a, at n equal to 3 when we go for n equal to 3 isn't it so we will have pi from this one in the same way we will have uh, minus omega c from this one and so hd of n h d of 3 will be equal to will be equal to 1 by pi into this one only hd of 3 okay remember hd of 3 all right so why do we evaluate hd of 3 we need h of n we need h of n which is equal to h d of n into w h of n the window function all right so what's that uh, h of n completely h of n will be equal to h d of n this comes what is that 1 by pi close the bracket sign uh, pi into n minus alpha by n minus alpha minus sign omega c into n minus alpha by n minus alpha all right close the bracket which is for only for hd of n okay we are evaluating h of n and hd of n is entirely this one into the window function what is the window function it's a uh, 0 0.5 4 minus 0 0.46 46 and uh, cos 2 pi n by 6 n minus 1 actually n minus 1 and we know the value of uh, n so straight away 6 n minus 1 comes over there all right so here this is for this value is for hd of 3 okay hd of 3 so how to evaluate for how to evaluate for h of 0 when n equal to 0 will have h of 0 which is equal to uh, wherever we find n just plug in with the 0 all right so 1 by pi 1 by pi sign pi over here okay so 0 minus alpha minus alpha so it's a minus 3 by 0 minus alpha so minus 3 over here when n equal to 0 for this one minus sine cutoff frequency omega c is 2 radians per second and uh, it's a minus 3 by n minus alpha minus 3 all right and uh, this is for hd of n into 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 all right uh, cos cos 0 right cos 0 it's a 1 that's it here we have a uh, cos 2 pi 0 by 6 cos 0 that's one so we'll have only this one for h of 0 right so what about h of 1 which is equal to as it is 1 upon pi this is uh, sin pi and uh, 1 minus 3 alpha is 3 isn't it 1 minus 3 so it's a minus 2 by n minus 3 uh, n is 1 when n equal to 1 we, are, we have to compute for n equal to 1 which gives us h of 1 n equal to 1 1 minus 3 it's a minus 2 
over here minus sin uh, cutoff frequency it's a 2 into uh, 1 minus 3 minus 2 by uh, 1 minus 3 it's a minus 2 in both the cases into cos I mean 0 point window function 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 all right cos 2 pi by uh, y n is 1 all right by 6 so evaluating this this complete product and make sure your calculator is in radians mode why because uh, omega c cutoff frequency is radians per second all the design is for omega values all right omega so that one so hd of uh, hd of 2 you do it all right hd of 2 h sorry h of 2 simply h of 2 that will be uh, 2 minus 3 that this will be negative 1 okay the same thing like this is getting reduced isn't it this is getting reduced like this one how is that uh, 1 upon pi will be as it is so it's a sine pi no change so it's getting reduced so that will be minus 1 by uh, minus 1 all right so minus sine 2 into minus 1 by minus 1 n minus n minus alpha isn't it n will be evaluating for n equal to 2 2 minus 3 minus 1 so that's for hd of n into 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi ns into 2 by 6 will give us h of 2 all right so let me evaluate for hd of 3 hd of 9 h of uh, 3 in your presence what is h of 3 h of uh, 3 will be equal to hd of 3 that's a uh, 1 upon pi into pi minus omega c that's hd of 3 into the window function what is the window function 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi into 3 by 6 all right so this is for the window function let me do it in front of you so that uh, yeah let's have that confirmation let's have the confirmation what it is it's a uh, uh, in the numerator it's pi minus uh, cutoff frequency omega c it's 2 by pi all right by pi into uh, it's a uh, 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 uh, cos cos uh, 2 pi into 3 divided by 6 guys it's a uh, this value hd of uh, h of 3 it's a uh, 0. Point 3 6 3 3 like that 3 3 8 0 something like that okay so you compute up to what value we have to we started from h of 0 we have h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 a h of h of 4 a h of 5 h of 6 why because n is running from n will be running from 0 to n minus 1 it's a 0 to 6 so what all, what all do we have h of 0 etc etc h of 6 up to h of 6 calculate it please make sure your calculator is in radians uh, not the degrees but uh, evaluation should be done making use of radians all right so guys, these are the values okay h3 h of 3 i have evaluated in your presence like uh, h of 0 is this one all these values okay come back drop in the uh, comment box if you find it wrong right come back and uh, this is the center of symmetry all right this is the center of symmetry and h2 uh, see this h uh, h of 2 and h of 4 are same h of 2 which is equal to h of 4 center of symmetry okay these two are same and uh, h of 1 and h of 5 are same h of 1 which is equal to h of 5 and these two are same in the sense uh, h of 0 which is equal to h of 
six. So what's the value? Like uh, what to do after evaluating? These are for h of n, isn't it? H of n and n running from different values. So what to do with that one? Uh, let's evaluate h of z. H of z, which is equal to summation n equal to zero to n minus one. It's a six. H of uh, n z raised to minus n. So evaluating, expanding the summation. What do we have? Uh, H of uh, zero z raised to zero. That's one plus h of 1 z raised to minus 1 plus plugging in n n is equal to 0 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 etc up to 6 so h of 2 z raised to minus 2 plus h of 3 z raised to minus 3 like that all right so the these are the i'm sorry i'm using my uh where is that where did i go so So guys, uh, okay, let me use this away. All right, so waste of time. So remember, these are the center of symmetry, right? What do we have? Plus h of 4, z raised to minus 4, plus h of 5, z raised to minus 5, plus h of 6, z raised to minus 6, up to this. All right, and uh, yeah. Uh, what is h of z actually? It's a transfer function y of z by x of z. All right. It's a y of z by x of z and uh, y of z that side gets multiplied with that one entire expression. Only writing the expression. Okay. I repeat y of z will be equal to this x of z over this side gets multiplied with this, 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 all that. So how do you write down that one? y of z is equal to y of z is equal to h of uh, 0 into z raised to I mean sorry it's no more h of 0 into x of z plus h of 1 z raised to minus 1 guys we have a symmetry isn't it so we have a symmetry uh, what is that symmetry guys uh, what are the two equal h of 0 and h of 6 are same okay so h of 0 the values are same so let's select only h of 0 h of 0 and h of 6 are same in the sense uh, this this and these values are same so same so one can be taken out so if i take out h of 0 as here 1 plus it's same so h of 0 z rise to minus 6 all right so hold on i cannot repeat the video again and again please hold on okay y of z that will be equal to x of z is multiplied with entire thing okay and that too for condition following the symmetry h of 0 is same h of 0 and h of 6 is same and that x of z is multiplied with all these okay so h of 0 h of 0 is taken out over here into uh, 1 is left over but that is multiplied with x of z which was in the denominator so we have x of z plus from here we have uh, z raised to minus 6 into x of z why because this said this x of z which is in the denominator gets multiplied with each and every equation over here all right so this we are done with we are done with this one we are done with these two all right we are done with these two all right so and so close the bracket and what else we are done with the h of 0 right and we have h of 1 over here we have h of 1 which is equal to h of 5 so plus h of 1 and h of 1 and h of 5 are same and uh, from this we have z raised to minus 1 into x of z plus from here z raised to minus 5 into x of z all right so done with this and this all right and uh, what else plus uh, h of 2 and h of 4 are same from here all right so h of 1 is done so these are same values so we are done with that one h of 2 and h of 4 are same uh, h of 2 taking out as common what is left over here h of 2 so z raised to minus 2 into x of z plus from here it's a z raised to minus 4 into x of z all right so this one and we are done with 
this one this one and uh, this will be the center of symmetry which is equal to h of plus h of uh, 3 into z raised to minus 3 into x of z so these are the uh, h1 h2 all the values all right so from here making use of uh, this one we'll have to evaluate the linear phase structure let's see what is that guys uh, let's have let's have x of z over here x of z right so what if i have a delay element over here like uh, z rise to minus 1 what if so what will be the signal over here what will be the signal it's a uh, z rise to minus 1 into x of z isn't it so what if i have another delay delay element over here z rise to minus 1 so what will be the signal flowing this getting multiplied with this one so z rise to minus 2 into x of z we have all right so uh, what if we have another delay element over there z rise to minus 1 what's that so what signal do we have this gets multiplied with this one so that z rise to minus 3 into x of z hope you understood so what if we have another delay element over here z rise to minus 1 so what do we have that's what signal do we have here we have um, from here z rise to minus 4 x of z all right so another delay element that from here we have uh, here z rise to minus 5 x of z if we have another delay element another delay element over here another delay element over here z rise to minus 1 we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, z rise to minus 6 x of z all right so how to how to get this one how to get this one see focus now it's time how to get this one x of z plus z rise to minus 6 from this side from this side we have x of z and uh, if we have a summer over here from this side we have here yeah, the output from here will be z rise to minus 1 plus z rise to minus 6 into x of z right so if we and this one we are done with this one we have we have we got this one so multiply we should have a multiplier we should have a multiplier so what value is that h of 0 which is equal to h of 6 which is equal to that one what is that uh, okay let me write down h of 0 value all right so this is this is for this this is for this now where do we have this one where do we have this one where do we have that so it's a z rise to minus 1 into x of z plus z rise to minus 5 into x of z so here see from here we have z rise to minus 1 into x of z so if we have a summing point over here all right a little bit that side a little bit that side from here it is the z rise to minus 1 into x of z and from this side it's a z rise to minus 5 into x of z so these two adding the signal from here the signal from here will be this one see z rise to minus 1 into x of z from this side getting added to z rise to minus 5 into x of z so the signal from here will be this one so take out a signal all right take out a signal multiplier over here with what with a h of 1 with a h of 1 all right so we are done with this we are done with this for my convenience okay uh, where is this z rise to minus 2 z rise to minus 4 here from here that will be if you have a this one if you have this and uh, the signal will be the signal will be this multiplied with what value h of 2 all right we have a signal we have a signal all right and uh, we are done with this one also we are done with this so where do we have this one this one z rise to minus 3 into x of z z rise to minus 3 into x of z so here go for a multiplier what value is that h of 3 h of 3 value comes over here with this one so if we have a somewhere over here plus add it add it add it the output from here will be that y of z which is that one, which is this entire expression for my convenience i have erased it because i was confused right this is the uh, linear phase structure of a fir filter 
that required high pass filter. Hope you understood. Thanks for watching.